Hey there, and welcome back to my channel. I recently wanted to build this waterfall chart and use color to separate out profits versus losses for this fictitious company. But I also wanted to make those total bars stand out. As you can see, I decided to add a pattern to each of those total bars. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to add patterns to your Matplotlib figures. To begin coding, I'll import the PyPlot module as well as NumPy, and I'm going to create a list of values that I can plot. The most common place to add patterns in Matplotlib is on a bar plot, so let's try that first. Here I've plotted my list of values as the heights of each of these bars, and if I'd also like to add a pattern to these bars, I just need to include an argument called hatch, and set that to be a string which represents the pattern that I want to create. So here, let's make diagonal stripes, represented by the forward slash. And you'll see that Matplotlib has added a pattern to every bar. There are many, many different patterns available, so let's check out a few more. The X pattern looks like a diagonal crisscross, and the asterisk produces stars on each bar. Typically, you can remember which string makes each pattern by imagining the string being repeated over and over again across the bars. But so far we've seen how to add a pattern to every bar. If instead you'd like to add patterns to only some bars, first you'll want to save this output as a variable, and I'll call it bars. Checking the type of bars, it's a bar container object, and we can actually iterate over this object. Or in other words, we can do a for loop over it. So next I'll create a list of patterns that should be applied to each bar. Let's say I only want stripes on my middle bar and the other two shouldn't have a pattern. I'll use a blank string for the first and third bar and two backward slashes for that middle bar. Then I can zip these together and iterate over the bars and patterns. For each bar, I'll use this set hatch method and change the pattern of that bar according to the pattern list. And there we go, only the middle bar has diagonal stripes, the other two bars are left blank because I supplied an empty string for those bars. Bar plots are the most likely place that you will see patterns added in matplotlib, but you can also add patterns to other matplotlib objects. Let's take a look. Bar plots are definitely the most common place that you'll see patterns added, but you can also add patterns to pretty much anything from the patches module. So let's try the rectangle and the circle. Here we have a plot with both a rectangle and a circle. And by the way, if you want to learn more about adding shapes like these, you can check out my past matplotlib video about adding shapes. But let's say that we wanted to add a pattern to both of these objects. Within this rectangle, I can once again set my hatch argument, and here I'm going to set that to be a lowercase O, and within the circle we also have a hatch argument. Let's set that to be a dash. And now you'll see we have these little circular O's across the rectangle and horizontal stripes for the circle. So the rectangle that we're working with here does come from that patches module. It's a rectangle object. And interestingly enough, the bar plot that we were working with before is also comprised of rectangular patches. So that's why we can do these patterns across our bar plot, because those bars are actually patches. You can also add patterns to pie charts. So let's say that we have this figure here. If I want to add a pattern to one particular slice of this pie, what I can do is save the results of the pie chart. And this actually returns two objects, both the wedges themselves and the labels of those wedges. Now, if I want to add a pattern to just the first wedge of my pie chart, I will reference that from the wedges list and set its hatch to be this vertical bar. And checking the type of that very first wedge, again, it comes from the patches module, it's a wedge object. The last thing I want to demo is called fill between. And if you haven't worked with this before, the basic idea is that you'll have some X values and then two sets of Y values, and you'll be filling in the area between those two sets of Y values. So in this case, I have two different parabolas, one upward facing and one downward. So I create this nice almond shape. If I want to add a pattern to this shape, once again, fill between has a hatch argument, and I can just set that to be whatever pattern I'd like. And you may also decide to style those patterns in a different way, for example, a different color or a different line thickness. Let's see how you can do that. So you've probably noticed by now the default color for those patterns is going to be black, but of course we can change that color if we'd like. 
The face color of each of these bars I've set to be light gray, so that's the actual color of the bar. The color of the pattern is actually linked to what's called the edge color of each of these bars. So referencing that edge color, I can set that to whatever color I'd like. Here, let's do deep pink. Now this has definitely changed the color of the pattern, but it's also added a little border around every single bar. If that's not what you'd like to have happen, we can actually do something a little bit different. If I want to change only the color of the pattern, I can actually adjust my RC parameters. So I'll reference the PyPlot module, reference the RC parameters, and then I'll be setting hatch color equal to whatever color I'd like. So here, let's set it to blue. This will actually update the color of all of the patterns on all of the figures I make after this. So now we have a nice blue diagonal line on each of those bars. And the benefit of doing it this way, you'll see that we do not have an outline for these bars. We've only updated the color of the pattern itself. And the last styling tip, a lot of times people will want to actually change the width of the lines on each of these patterns. So let's do that as well. And this works really similarly to setting the color. We can actually reference PyPlot and the RC parameters, and then we'll just set hatch.linewidth equal to whatever value you'd like. I'll set it equal to six. And now any figures that I make after this, the pattern will have a nice thick line width. But as you can see here, my color of my pattern is still gonna be blue because I adjusted the RC parameters in the previous figure. If you'd like to switch either of these to a different color or a different line width, you'll have to adjust those RC parameters directly. As always, I'll put the code I demoed up on my GitHub page, and I'll also put some links in the description bar below in case you wanna see more Matplotlib documentation about patterns. Feel free to leave me a comment below if you have any additional questions or if you just want to say hi. Thanks so much for joining me and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.